In this video, we're going to talk about projection onto a subspace. Now, in a previous video, we talked about projecting a vector onto a line. Um, and in another video, we talked about what a subspace is, which is uh, a collection of multiple vectors. So this is basically projecting um, a vector onto multiple lines, um, doing the same thing that we did uh, multiple times. Now, if you'll remember from our previous video, the formula for projection uh, onto a line L uh, we're projecting a vector x, uh, where the vector l, uh, where the line l is spanned by a vector v. Um, our formula was v dot x over the length of v, so v dot v, uh, and times the vector v. Now, I just want to make one quick addendum to this. Um, we, you already know what a unit vector is. A unit vector is a vector with length one. Um, and so here on the bottom when we have um, divided by the length, uh, if v happens to be a unit vector, then that's just divided by one so we can get rid of that. Um, so I'm gonna make a note of that as well. So if we're projecting uh, a vector x onto a unit vector, then that formula becomes uh, u dot x times u. Okay, and that's just a simpler thing to look at um, because in the example that we're going to do, these are actually unit vectors. You can see uh, if we squared uh, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, that's one. Uh, okay, so what does projection onto a subspace look like geometrically? Um, this is kind of a hard question to answer because we're moving out of um, two dimensions into three and four and more dimensions, but um, I'm going to try to represent it the best that I can. So say our subspace, you had two vectors in R3. One's going that way, one's going that way. Um, and this is in R3. So here's two dimensions on the board and the third dimension is coming out at you. Now I've got my vector, which is my arm, and it's coming out of the board like this. If I'm projecting my vector, my arm, onto these two vectors, I'm finding the closest vector along this vector, or the closest, yeah, the closest vector along this line to my arm, which is about like that and the closest along this line to my arm, which is about like that. So I projected my arm onto these two lines. Then all I have to do is add them together, and we'll get a representation of my arm on that 3D field. So adding that vector to that vector, we'll get a line like that, which was the closest to where my arm is. So geometrically, that's what we're going to try to do. And our formula for that will be uh, the projection onto a subspace. Here, uh, v is going to be a subspace uh, of x is going to be um, Okay, so it's going to be the projection onto uh, each unit vector that makes up that subspace um, for the same vector. So if I have a subspace for all u1, u2, to un. So I'm just taking my vector, projecting it onto each vector in that subspace, and adding all those projections together. All right, I'm going to make a little room. Hopefully you'll remember that. I'll keep this formula handy. I'm going to get rid of you. And now we're going to try um, doing exactly this with my example right here, where our subspace is uh, the span of these two vectors, and we're going to try projecting this onto that. Um, so again, that's our V. Uh, I'll start up here. The projection onto V of our x right there is going to be projection of this onto that plus projection of this onto that. So uh, if this is my u1 and that's my u2, uh, we'll just look at this formula. That's going to be u1 dot x times u1 plus u2 dot x 
times u2. Uh, remember, uh, these are unit vectors, so that's why I'm using this formula. I don't have to divide by the length because the length is just one. Um, and that's all I really have to say, so let's go through with computing this. Um, u1 dot x, that's the dot product of these two vectors, and that's going to be a single constant. So that's uh, 1 half times 1 plus 1 half times 2 plus 1 half times 1 plus 1 half times 4 times the vector uh, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. plus uh, this dot product, I mean that dot product, so that, that's 1 half times 1, minus 1 half times 2, minus 1 half times 1, plus 1 half times 4, times this vector again, 1 half minus a half, minus a half, a half. Okay, let's work that out. Okay, now we just need to calculate this out um, to figure out what that vector is. Uh, here we have 1 half plus 1 plus 1 half plus 2. Um, that should be 2 plus 1 plus another 1, so that's 4. And here is, okay, we have a half minus a half, so that's just 0. Uh, here we have minus 1 and positive 2. So that's 1. All right, so we have 4 times this vector plus just that vector. That should be easy to figure out. Uh, equals 4 times that vector is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2. Plus um, that vector again. You have 1 half minus a half minus a half and a half. Okay, uh, 2 is equal to 4 halves, so 4 halves plus a half is 5 halves, and minus a half is 3 halves. Cool, so that's our vector. Uh, 5 halves, 3 halves, 3 halves, 5 halves. Uh, if we want, we could pull out a half, but we're not going to do that. Um, so this is our, our projection onto this vector space. Um, which is spanned by these two vectors. Um, and so that's the formula and process you would do for projection onto a subspace. If you had more than two vectors, we would just continue this process the same time, or the same method for each one, um, just however many u's you have. Um, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, and it's a very important concept, and we'll be referencing it when we go into Graham Schmidt. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math-related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen, or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.